Hey, what's going on, guys? Fred Tech Hub here. This is my unboxing and first impression of the all new Infinix 06. The Infinix 06 is a flagship device with a mid range specification that promises more for what you're paying for. But before I begin, please kindly hit on that subscribe button to join this awesome family. And be sure to turn on your post notification so you won't miss out on my future videos. Opening the box reveals the smartphone on top with a label that houses little information about the phone. But let's keep it aside and see what else is inside the box. We'll get back to the device later. Next is a customer service card, a paper sleeve that contains a SIM ejector tool, specification manual, a quick start guide, and a plastic film screen protector. Next is a smoky silicone case to help protect your device, a newly styled earpiece that looks a little different from what we've seen in the past from Infinix. A USB Type-C to micro USB adapter protected inside a small plastic case. A 12 volt charging brick that supports super fast charging. And lastly, a USB Type-C charging cable. Now back to the device. Immediately you notice this is a flagship device. But let's take the wrap off and admire this beauty. I want to say something here. This is the best looking device Infinix has ever released. It is stunningly beautiful and very attractive, especially from the back. The build quality is amazing, it is well put together. At 6.2 inch display, it feels compact and solid. The edges is polished in a shiny gold chrome finish and the glass at the back, though feels fragile, it is done right. So when it comes to design and build quality here, it is quite impressive and it befits a flagship device. On the right side of the device is where you find the power button and the volume rockers. At the back, you find a dual 12 plus 24 megapixels AI camera with a quad flash, a fingerprint scanner, and the Infinix branding. On the left side of the device, you find a hybrid SIM tray that supports dual SIM at once or a single SIM with an SD card. At the bottom is where you find a standard 3.5 mm headphone jack, a microphone hole, a USB Type C charging port, and a speaker grill. Then on top is another microphone hole and in front houses a 20 megapixels AI selfie camera. So after a quick rundown from the setup process, you are greeted with a very familiar display stating this is an Infinix device. The 6.2 inch Full HD Plus display is sharp with good viewing angles, though the software feels and looks dated. I like the familiar interface but it is the 1080p Plus display that makes it up for the premium looking device. The specs on this guy is an octa-core Snapdragon CPU that is clocked at 1.8 GHz, paired with a 6 GB of RAM and a 64 GB of internal storage, Android 8.1 Oreo, and what is keeping the lights on is a 3650 mAh battery. It feels responsive at best. The Infinix 06 was supposed to be a 2018 smartphone, and it shows up in the software. Trust me, it doesn't feel like a 2019 flagship. The CPU is from 2018, same with the operating system, and you will notice it immediately. Infinix just announced the S4 recently, and that device is loaded with Android version 9. So why version 8 on your flagship device? To me, I feel Infinix doesn't take the 06 too serious anymore. Please, if you have anything to say about this, let me know in the comment section below. And hold on, there are so many things to like about the Infinix 06. After all, it is their most expensive device till date. It comes with a super fast fingerprint scanner plus a face ID, awesome camera across the board, and above all, the best design and build quality in its lineup. I took some sample pictures with it. So far, it is pretty amazing with good details, but I have to still put it through my thorough test in my full review. So you go through them and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. What's up guys, this is basically what it looks like to shoot a video using the front facing camera on the all new Infinix 06. The default setting here is 1080p. It looks good, I like it. The Infinix 06 comes with a 3650 mAh battery which is a huge downgrade coming from the C05 which had a 4350 mAh battery. I believe it is due to a small form factor approach coupled with a thin profile that Infinix is trying to keep here. I'll still let you know how it performs during my full review. 
The Infinix 06 is a noteworthy device that I can't wait to put it through its paces so I can give you my verdict. That is it guys, thank you so much for your time and watching, like and share this video, share your thoughts with me down below and please don't forget to subscribe cause if you do, it will help me a lot. Bye bye.